Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali if you're new here. I upload beauty bible and lifestyle videos, so if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into this and let's get into today's video. All right, so for you today's video, you guys, I have this week's or this every two weeks bi-weekly shop my stash and get ready with me um i did want to go ahead and ask you guys here do you guys prefer or do you guys like that i do my makeup after i've used my makeup for the two weeks or would you rather i do it the day that i pick it out just curious but yeah let's go ahead and get into picking out my makeup for this week and then you will see me apply it and see what i was loving and what i didn't love and things like that so yeah let's go ahead and get into it all right you guys so this happened this is all the corrupted footage of me picking out the makeup but i'm pretty sure i do mention a lot of the stuff that i picked out while putting on my makeup so the show's just gonna keep on going and i'm so sorry that this happened all right you guys so first things first we're gonna go in with primer and we're gonna go ahead and pick out both primers that i chose um I really liked both of these the two weeks that I was using it. One of them, I, I didn't prefer one over the other, but I for sure used this one the most just because it helps smooth more than this one. This one kind of just helps your makeup grip and this one helps everything like smooth out. Does that make sense? That makes sense. now the hydrating or the hydrating primer but it's more like a gripping primer kind of like the milk makeup one the one that elf just came out with now that we're primed well almost primed this is the one that i've been using for um like a primer spray and it's almost gone but yeah So I always do, I do always start with the brows. I use this actually equally. And I feel like if I could find the right shade of my brows in the next one, hold on, I just realized like the lighting is off because this one's right here. But yeah, I did use both of these equally. Um, today I'm gonna use the next one, but I feel like if I found the next one, like in my perfect eyebrow shade, it would be, I'd, I'd really, really like it. brows are done and I have been cleaning them up recently and I used both concealers I liked this one on days where I had like a smidge more time but on days I didn't have a lot of time I liked going in with the elf one because like it's easy to brush on and get it exactly how you want it to without having to grab an additional brush to just apply it Going in with my favorite brush just to blend all of this in. Okay, so brows are clean. Um, and I'll do an eyeshadow look that I've been doing like every single day just because I don't want to get crazy. But so I'm going to use some eyeshadow primer because I have been using the eyeshadow primer when I do my eyeshadow. Blend that out with our fingers doesn't that's one thing i don't like about either one of these is that they don't really do much color correction and i have really dark eyelids but the way it allows eyeshadows to adhere to your lid i love it do y'all think my hair is growing yet because i already miss my uh long hair so much i already miss it so much okay so we're gonna use the wild nothings palette and i'm gonna use this um this vega bound shade And then I'm gonna take this shade right here and put it on the lid because it does have some shimmer to it and I've been loving like just like some light shimmer like I like the random sparkle on the eyelid okay 
and that's it that's all that i've kind of been doing for eyeshadow i got some new eyeshadow curl eyeshadow eyelash curlers so i'm gonna go ahead and curl the lashes and these are on sale at um they're on sale at ulta right now too they're tweezer mint eyelash curlers so i took advantage of it because i really did need like eyelash curlers okay so now what i've been doing i like both of these separate but together together these mascaras like together these are bomb but i like to go in with this one first the revlon big bad lash mascara so this is the first one i apply so now go in with the rec makeup revolution blowout one so good how pretty is that mascara like like can you see the length it gives you and the curl wow i thought i had okay so I feel like everyone has seen so much about this foundation this foundation is still being raved about talked about because it is a really good foundation like not knocking on it at all it's an amazing foundation but i feel like not a lot of people talk about this or anything like that and i actually really like this one this is the undone beauty foundation glow tint now it works better with the dry sponge but i don't feel like dirtying another sponge right now and i don't feel like using this extra dirty sponge so we're going to use a wet sponge right now so yeah we're just gonna apply this to the back of our hand yeah it looks like a ton but you do have to build this one up so this one is one of those ones it's it's a it's a tint it's a glow tint this one does have the word uh foundate it's called unfoundation but like this is way better than that tart one that i had to put that i put on last time way better so yeah, i'll show you guys one layer with the sponge okay see Look at how pretty that is. So like it covers enough, but you can still see your skin. And that's why I like that one over the Tarte one because, because the Tarte one was like pointless. This one, you get some coverage. It look it covers, but it is a tint, but it covers. Like look at all this pigmentation and darkness and everything over here compared to this side. Like it's a really good foundation. I really, really like it. Really love it. And I don't know, this has just been my vibe more lately since like I have been doing my makeup every single day. Like look at that. And I feel like I don't need anything else because the eyeshadow look is so simple. Like this is my kind of jam. My kind of jam. Like I, I just feel like this is so pretty like. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with, this is my favorite concealer at the moment. Like I can't stop using it. I really love it. Really love it. So yeah, we're just going to blend that out. And I also noticed that this concealer, apply less if you're using a brush and just apply your normal amount if you're using a sponge. Because with a brush, this goes a really long way. But with a sponge, like it's the perfect amount to do like what you would usually do. So I try to do what I usually do with the brush and it's just it's too much. Yes. Look at that. Look how... This is like the perfect skin foundation. Like, do y'all see that? perfect now if you guys know remember i did pick, i say remember like y'all are anyways this is the powder i had picked out it's not good for setting it's just not good for setting makeup i did use this a lot with this concealer and use the powder foundation as a powder foundation but um love it as that but i just don't love that powder as a setting powder so i did have to come back in here like a couple days later and get the cover girl clean professional loose powder which i absolutely love it goes on smooth it's smoothing it's so pretty so we're gonna go ahead and use this to set okay so how pretty does that look like that powder is so so pretty i don't know what happened to the lower part of my face and neck but i used something that caused it to break out so ignore the like this lower half of my face but everything else looks great so next i do um i'm gonna use this brown eyeliner i love this brown eyeliner that's so pretty and so brown but now we only use this one on the lower lashes only this one love that i don't know what that white thing is under my eye i don't know what's going on with my under eye right now what's going on i don't know anyways 
Next is a bronzer. And we're gonna use this one. This was the only cream bronzer I picked out. I've been loving it. It's my favorite. It's like the perfect in between of warm and like a good contour shade. It's just, I love it. So on both of these, um, I've been using them both equally, but my favorite that I would rather use all day every day is the Undone Beauty one. This one's just a little too much sometimes, but the Undone Beauty one, love it. Okay, so I'm just gonna blend that blush out just a little bit more just to really make sure it's seamless. Next, this is the bronzing palette. I love this. I absolutely love this, but you do have to be careful because it has a lot of kickback. And then for blush, this is all I've been using, and I think it's because I only took out a blush palette and not like single blushes. So to, for today, we're going to mix all three. preferred this highlighter over the physician's formula bronzer uh, highlighter because I feel like this one is a little more glittery rather than this one and so I've really been liking this one over the physician's formula one because of the glitter aspect so I'm gonna still use this one So for lips, I know I didn't pick this out with you guys, but I took it out of my purse and this is what I've been loving is the LA Girl Tinted Lip Plumper. So we're going to use that, but with this lip liner, like the sugar and spice. And now we're gonna just set with this one, almost gone as well. I need to buy more setting sprays. I did buy one more, but I need like, I need more to be doing this shop my stash. And that is it, you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'm having fun doing these. And I, do you guys like that I wait to do my makeup to like, I've used it for the two weeks. That way I could tell you guys like what I used most and what I didn't like about it now that I'm using my makeup more. Or do you guys want me to do my makeup like the day that I pick out my makeup? So, yeah, but I kind of like doing it this way so I can tell you guys what did I actually use and things like that. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and um, end this video. I love you guys. I hope that I love you guys. But always remember that Jesus loves you more. If you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Mwah.